The LFO module is turned on and off by clicking on the power button or anywhere in the title bar. And we can use this to modulate parameters in other modules. So what that means is these are fixed at set values. And when we apply an LFO and set the destination as one of these other targets, it'll alter the values and it'll alter it based on a periodic repeating waveform shape that we set here. We can choose between a smooth sine wave a triangle, a square wave, which is basically an on and off type of pulse, or random or random with a ramp up and down. So it'll modulate the destination parameter in these shapes at a rate that we set here. When the sync button is off, we can set the rate freely in the number of cycles per second that we want. And when sync is enabled, we can set it at musical subdivisions by dialing the knob to different values or pressing this for a palette of options to choose from. And we can work with multiples of the different values that we set here. When it's set to one, it'll work at this exact value that we have chosen. We close that and we can always view the multiple here. This R button is good for re-triggering the cycle. It's particularly useful if we're working at very slow rates, like down all the way at the left. And we can automate that or click it with the mouse. We can use the phase knob to adjust where within the waveform shape we want the cycle to start. When it's all the way at the bottom, it starts at the beginning of it. And then we can offset it from there. Now the pulse width knob is used to vary the time it takes the waveform to go from its peak value to its minimum value. So in other words, when we go below the 50% mark, we're compressing it and above it, we're expanding it or stretching it. Now, when it modulates these values, it can modulate below the value that's set there when this is in the negative position or above the value when it's a positive or it can alternate between positive and negative, meaning above and below the values that are fixed there and the amount or the depth of the modulation is set with this. Now I'm gonna start with this on a piano part, and right now this is off, and we'll hear the piano part with no modulation. I have this off or out in the mixer, and then I'll put it in. You'll hear what it's like with these delays going through this object at these values. And now the same thing with this in. So I'm targeting the frequency of the material here, and I'm gonna put this on, and it'll be modulated at a rate of quarter notes in a smooth sine shape, above and below, based on this. So we're here changing the frequency. We can try the different parameters. We can modulate the echoes. So now it's modulating the speed of the echoes that are generated. We can try different shapes. Here we're modulating the formant of the object above and below. Now there are a couple of unique destinations here. We can modulate input gain, which doesn't appear as a parameter on the interface. So we're playing with the dynamics of what's being fed into object delay here. Wet VCA is another unique one where we're modulating the output but only the wet portion. Kind of like a gate on the wet part. We can modulate the whole output. Modulating the output of the entire plugin. Let's go back to frequency. And we'll go to a triangle shape. And we'll offset the phase so it starts at a different position. We can use the pulse width knob to compress it creating a sawtooth kind of wave, or in the opposite direction. Here I'm modulating the feedback at a very fast rate. I 
I want to change the rate while it's playing. I'm going to automate from this palette of values. So I'm going to enter automation mode here, and I'll record some automation as we're going. So there, if I hit stop and play back, we'll see that the value of the rate will be modulated. So that's a nice way to get different values as your song is playing. Let's look at this in action on some vocals. Here I've got a vocal set up with a send and I've got object lay on the bus with the balance all the way up. Here's what the vocal sounds like without it and then I'll put it in as it's playing. going through an object being delayed and filtered. And I'm going to engage the LFO and I've got it modulating the wet VCA, the wet portion of the output, so we can get a kind of gating type of effect. Based on this shape, I can get a gated effect by modulating the whole output. the wet part. This will be more of an on-off shape for a choppier gated sound or smoother. 